engine out. Forgive my zoom. I try to do the uh, trick shots to bring you guys in. And camera does that. So anyway, spent the morning doing this. It's about nine o'clock, so I got a good start. Um, it's all out. So from this point, it's good. We just have to start um, pulling this stuff off of this motor to get ready to put it on that one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to disassemble this, pull the clutch or the transmission off, clutch pack out, try to get my hands on a rear main seal. It's Friday. I don't know. The guy I like to go through, hopefully he gets back to me. That one has 15 miles on it. I'm so tempted to use it, but I shouldn't. So, anyway, um, pull a couple things off of their accessories, brackets, timing, transmission, clutch pack, um, and then that's basically it. The rest of the motor's junk. There's a few pieces I'll pull off to sell. Um, then set all that stuff aside. We'll pick this guy up, pull the transmission off of this one because that's going back to the friend um, who gave me the motor. Yes, that's right. Gave me an engine swap. That's what happens when you're friends with people for 20 years though. Um, anyway, so we'll be pulling that off, these accessories, and then we're going to clean this as best we can because it's freaking filthy. Um, and hopefully before it gets nuclear today, we'll have the drivetrain at least plugged in there. And then I can mess with wiring and, and plumbing the cooling lines and everything else. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's where we'll go from here. So, once again, away we go. And there it is. In the car. So, I don't film much. <laughs> I should, I know. I know. I'm a little camera shy, though. And a lot of this I don't know that I could do without on being on camera. So, um, anyway, this is the transmission that was in there. This is the um, ABA with the Mototronic. You can see the count, uh, cross flow head as opposed to the other one where I had the intake ran in. Exhaust out there, exhaust on the back. I need to get some exhaust nuts. Button that up. Got some paint touch up to do in there. Um, so on the Mark 1, these are the fuel lines, and they run across, and they generally come out over there because the fuel distributor sits on that end, and then the fuel lines come back over here. Mark 3 goes to this fuel rail, and uh, on the Scirocco, I was, I acted too soon, and I think I cut them like right about here. So, you know, I've got braided lines and it's nice now, it's not a big deal, but this will be better because I'm going to cut these way up here. And so this will be a hard line, and then I'm actually just going to take this very line and slip it over that with a couple of uh, hose clamps. Be good to go. So there's that. My alternator is the last thing. I made this bracket which worked well on the other injection on this car. It doesn't work. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to take this out of here. These two posts are the right length. So I'm going to use this bracket and I'm going to make it longer. And with that longer it will kick this out so it will interface with this. And then I can use th this bolt which is supposed to be in there. And uh, or this nut, this bolt is too long. I'll get a shorter one. Something that doesn't look so ghetto. Yeah, that was, this was short-sighted. I was putting a bunch of these in there just trying to crush it together. And it started pulling this bushing out of the backside. So when I put this together tomorrow, I'm going to have to cut another sleeve. Probably set it in there. And uh, just to keep this from wanting to walk out of here. <clears throat> So yeah, I think in the morning I will be doing the axles. Um, yeah, probably the axles. I, I think that that's the last of what's under the car that I have to do. Do the axles, make sure everything's torqued as it needs to be. Probably put together the shift linkage. Um, as you can see, power steering is in. In, and all those belts are rooted. So, anyway. Pretty stoked with this, and uh, that's all she wrote for today. It's 5 o'clock, and it's really hot, and I'm tired. 
um, my hot water heater blew a leak last night at 2 in the morning, so I've been up since 6, and uh, I'm beat. So, that's all for today. But we made a lot of progress. I appreciate all you that watch. Appreciate you more when you give me a like. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll step out from behind the camera. But I don't know. My clothes are pretty silly. Later, all.